Welcome to Community Connection. I'm Cindy Bravos. His fascination with watercolors began at the American Academy of Art, and now he's passing along his knowledge to others. Joining us now is watercolor artist Dan Danielson. Welcome to Community Connection. Thank you so much, Cindy. It's what a beautiful here. picture here. And I, I have to ask because watercolors are fascinating and very difficult. How did you choose watercolors when you were introduced? Um, I enjoy, always enjoyed art. A little tiny guy, um, you gave me a pencil and paper, you wouldn't see me for hours. Um, and watercolor, it's a, it's a medium that's loose, it's dynamic, it's uh, fluid, it's very unique. Uh, the fact that uh, when you paint, um, it's a partnership with watercolor. It's unlike any other medium. Uh, it's fluid, it's, it's interactive. You are a partner. Um, with the medium itself. And so what you do, you have to uh, 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 really advance and know that your partner, the medium, is... Uh, um, so it's a, it's a little bit more of a, a give and take rather than you controlling the medium. The medium speaks through you, it sounds like. It is, it's um, where you, you only have part of what's going on. The other part is controlled by the medium. As, as you become a little more experienced, well, then you can control a little bit more. But the fact is that you never have full control. For many people, that's kind of a concern. And for many people, that's why watercolor is really kind of considered mm, a little difficult. Or intimidating, but maybe. A little intimidating, a little intimidating. So uh, I've always enjoyed watercolor because it's fluid. And um, it's really something that you have to be willing to accept. So it's less forgiving than acrylic. Definitely, definitely. And if you want a full control, then maybe you should pursue acrylics or oils or, or, or colored pencil. But uh, watercolor, it's, it's, uh, you have to respect it a little bit. It's, it's fluid, it's dynamic, it's moving all the time and you have to know how to handle that a little bit. So, so you were able to, to parlay your interest in art into a career of 40 years in advertising. How did you do that? Well, you know what, going way back, back to school again, um, they always, when I was a kid, they say, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, well, I want to be an artist, you know? And uh, um, I'm thinking, there, there they say, well, okay, that's fine, little Danny, but uh, <laughs> what do you really want to do? And I said, well, I want to be an artist. And you get to high school and they say, what career path do you want to take? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, gosh, uh, I love art. But then after a while, I realized that uh, it's not the most financially stable uh, career. So um, went into advertising, 40 years of uh, of advertising, art director, creative director, several different agencies, and I love that. Just had a great time with that. So you pick careers between your expressive art and your advertising art that have a lot of energy. I I think so. I enjoyed advertising before the the deadlines and the uh, the action, the movement. Uh, and I think watercolor offers that same that same dynamic. Um, and I enjoy it now, now I'm teaching after 40 years of advertising, retired from that. And uh, after I retired, I figured, well, what am I gonna do now? Uh, and uh, I took a class at the DuPage Art League and I figured, well, this is fun. And after a while, they asked me to teach. So um, I'm enjoying that. So now you're time. inspiring artists and are you teaching watercolor? I am, I am, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying that. So someone who's to... not done watercolor before, if they're a beginner, where do you start? You look for, uh, I look for the, the desire. The desire is more important than talent. Um, people are, again, like we were talking about, it's, are a little intimidated by watercolor, mm -hmm. but the, really it's about themselves. It's a matter of building of confidence. And it's from that confidence, that's where art comes from, especially with watercolor. So you created a piece that's going to be used in a play that's opening, um, and I will come back to the DuPage Art League, but you created a painting to be used in the steel beam production of Scatter the Pigeons. And this was a piece that was created by one of the characters in the play. So it yes. wasn't really your interpretation. So how did you go about creating it? 
Well, I kind of drew upon my, uh, my background in advertising, working with people, and uh, many times in advertising, you don't really do exactly what you do as an artist, mm -hmm. but you follow the lead of something. So in this case, I talked with the playwright, and he needed a painting for his play. And so it had to fit in it, with the play, obviously. It's not really, uh, it's my interpretation of what is needed by the playwright. So, I'm so you it. created that drawing or that painting through the eyes of the character rather than through the eyes of Dan Daniels. Yes, exactly, exactly. So it's, it's me, it's, I'm kind of the, the tool. Uh, it's my interpretation, but um, the inspiration really comes from the writer. Um, and that's where really, uh, it's kind of an interesting, I, I love it, it's, it's an interesting way of... Uh, well, you have it. beautiful works and they're showcased on your website, dandanielson.com. We wish you continued success, share your passion, and thanks for being with us. Well, thank you so much, it's a pleasure to be here.